Want to make your own beautiful Christmas decorations from these plain ceramic baubles? Well, we'll be showing you three ways to hydro dip using three different things. So let's get started. Firstly, we're going to use plain old nail polish. You can use any colour and any type of nail polish you may have lying around the house. We're using some cheap nail polish from the pound shop here. And we're going to use four different shades. And all you'll need is a container large enough for you to submerge your bauble in and your nail polish. And simply pour your nail polish onto the water. It will sit on the water surface. You can experiment and do different designs. It's really fun to watch the patterns emerge. I would advise that you do this in a well ventilated area due to the fumes from the nail polish and the alcohol inks and spray paint which we'll be using a little later on in the video so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to protect your hands with some gloves and have fun. Once you're happy with your nail polish design you're going to grab the bauble and submerge it into the container. It might take a little bit of pressure just to overcome the buoyancy and the nail polish sticks super well to the bobble surface and reveals a unique pattern. It's really pretty and unpredictable. You'll never know really what you'll get with hydro dipping which is part of the fun and if you have any nail polish left in your container you can just grab another bobble and scoop that up like we're doing here and voila a lovely unique bobble design just using some simple nail polishes and what we're going to do is just set this aside to dry we've just cut down a piece of toilet roll holder and we're going to invert the bobble into this and leave it to fully dry next up we are going to try the spray paint hydro dipping technique this is one of my favourite techniques and we're just going to use a mix of metallic spray paints that we have in our crafty stash. You can get spray paints from craft stores. This one's actually a car paint from the pound shop. Any spray paint at all works. Just make sure you are using it in a well ventilated area and that you're not breathing in the fumes. Short burst of the spray paints, the best for this technique as you want to retain the water tension to keep the spray paint on top of the water and again just grab your bobble we've used a bit of washi tape around the top here just to protect the gold and submerge it and here you go another completely unique design achieved using spray paint okay that's technique two technique three is alcohol ink hydro dipping so we're just going to use some piñata alcohol inks from our stash. Same as before, just apply it to the top of the water. And we're also going to use some metallic alcohol inks that we got from Amazon. Out of the three techniques, the alcohol ink behaves the least fluid in the water. It tends to stick and spread out a lot slower than the nail polish or the spray paint but if that's all you have to use then you can definitely still hydro dip with alcohol inks so once you're happy with your design just grab your bobble again and dunk it into the water and pull it out and you'll have a unique bobble design so we'll just set this to the side and let them fully dry and continue decorating them. So stay tuned to see how they turn out. Here are our bobbles once they have dried. I think it's a really cool pattern that the hydro dipping produces. And no matter if you use nail polish, spray paint or alcohol inks, it's a really great technique and gives you lovely results it's even better on flat surfaces such as paper but we wanted to try it to decorate these baubles let us know in the comment section below 
Have you tried hydro dipping? Is this something that you would like to do? We love to hear from you. But we're not finished yet. We've still got some decorating to go, so stay tuned. We did think they looked really pretty at this stage, but the plain bisque slip of the ceramic bobble was a little matte for our liking, so we decided to add a little sparkle. And to do this, we used a homemade mica spray that we made following instructions from Anne Melvin Positively Papercraft. It's some spray hair gel, water and mica powder. And that's us here just spraying it over the bobbles. We used a silver one that we created on the blue bobble and a gold spray on the other one. It's quite hard to see here, but in the finished results, it definitely lifts the bobbles and just adds that little extra touch of sparkle that catches on your Christmas lights. You can see it here on this bobble, just that nice gold sheen just lifts the bobble. So again, we're going to set these to one side and let that fully dry. Next, we're going to add some Christmas sentiments to the bobbles. Here, we're just going to use some peel off stickers. But if you had a Cricut machine, you could personalize these bobbles with your recipient's name, the year, baby's first Christmas, anything like that. Or like us, if you don't have a Cricut machine or a cut and scan machine, you can just use some peel offs or some stickers. Here we're using the Merry Christmas sentiment and these stick onto the baubles really easily. We just chose a variety of stars and sentiments and covered the bobble. I would say that they adhered better to the nail polish bobble than the alcohol ink. If you're having trouble sticking your stickers, you can always use a little bit of transparent glue, PVA or something like that to stick them to. But I think they look really pretty and cute with the Merry Christmas sentiment on them. So we're just going to repeat this process on the other baubles. We went for some silver snowflakes for the blue bobble and just randomly placed them all over the bobble. Once you've finished designing with your stickers, you will need to seal your bobble to stop your stickers coming off and to seal the alcohol inks. This process isn't really necessary for the nail polish bobbles, but with the alcohol ink bobble, you are going to have to seal it. We use some lacquer spray to seal it, but you could also use Mod Podge or PVA glue. And here are the finished baubles. This one was achieved using spray paint. And this one was the nail polish. I think they're really pretty and unique designs. And you could decorate them to match any colour scheme of your tree, whether it's teal, blues, silvers, pinks. And this one here, the blue one, was with the alcohol inks. What one is your favourite bobble? We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment below and let us know. Do you like the spray paint? The nail polish? Or maybe you'll prefer the alcohol ink? And is this something that you're going to give a try? Let us know in the comment section below. And thank you ever so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, hit that like button and the little bell to be notified the next time we upload a video. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crafting!